Hello, my soccer universe. Champions League is back. Europa League is back. Um, really looking forward to that, uh, especially the first day of Champions League. That's why I'm wearing my new Dortmund jersey for the first time on this channel. Uh, only, only the second time ever that I'm putting this jersey on, but yeah, I think it's worth uh, it because Dortmund is part of a really, really great game in the Champions League, which is the first one we look at. Dortmund PSG to me is probably one of the most fun matchups that we can expect. There are goals in there for sure. Um, it honestly it overshadows for me Atleti against Liverpool uh, for the simple reason that uh, Atleti is not all that great at the moment. Liverpool is this machine that's fun to watch, but I think that Dortmund PSG will be super fun to watch. And on that, so that's on Tuesday and on Wednesday. I actually I'm leaning very heavily towards Atalanta Valencia. I think this it's the most underdog matchup in the last round, uh, in this round. But I have to say, uh, having seen Atalanta now a few times and having seen Valencia, this is very, very intriguing. Um, I'm curious which Atalanta will show up. I'm really curious. Is it the one that destroys everything in the path or is it the one that is a little bit timid and will get outsmarted by a clever Valencia side? We also have Spurs against Leipzig, which is also intriguing, but I think it will be more intriguing, uh, a much more exciting matchup last season when Spurs were still free-flowing. Now they are looking more like a Mourinho team already. So I'm, I'm curious to see whether uh, uh, Spurs can outfox Leipzig or if Leipzig continues on their path um, as well. Intriguing matches for sure, but for me, there's Tuesday and Wednesday. There are two that I'm looking forward to, although I probably will watch the conference where they switch back and forth. For some reason, I'm th these matchups are fun, but what I'm really looking forward to is Europa League for the simple reason that Lusk is playing in there. Um, we have a full lineup on Thursday. Um, among the early games, Club Rouge against United looks interesting. Frankfurt Salzburg, I think, is a belter, as is Getafe against Ajax. I think those are the ones that I'm personally looking forward to. Uh, with Frankfurt Salzburg, uh, due to the history there and the connections between the two, so Klaus probably taking the top spot. But I have to say, Getafe Ajax is super, super intriguing. I mean, uh, having seen a Getafe twice and knowing that Ajax looks a little bit vulnerable, I think think the Getafe can do big things there. And then in the evening, it's all at set against Lask for me. Lask uh, having just beaten Salzburg. We'll talk about that in the review video, probably with the German Bundesliga together. Uh, looks to be in good form, but you know, it's a European game. It's Alkmaar. Uh, you never know. I say 60% Alkmaar forward for 40% Lask, but that's the one I'm looking forward to. Um, if I look at the other games, Olympiacos against Arsenal is intriguing somehow because I think Olympiacos could hurt them. Um, but to be honest, it's not uh, the soup. I mean, if you have a favorite team, I mean, a Roma Ghent, yes, should be, but uh, probably will not be that great. So, yeah, that's what's on the menu for the Europa League. Um, let me know what you will be watching, which matchups you're looking forward to. Um, give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like these. And I will talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there. I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, here are some videos or playlists that you might enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel as it will keep you updated with all things that are rotating in my soccer universe. And with that, I'm going to wish you a wonderful day. Bye.